Hey kids, do you have things that you love? Maybe you love a stuffed animal that you had since you were young. Or maybe you love your pet dog. I bet you take really good care of those things that you love. Did you know there's a lot more to love than just really liking something? Well, that's what we're talking about. Here's four things that you need to know about love. Love doesn't demand its own way. That just means love isn't selfish. It always puts others first. Would you want a friend that's selfish and whines and cries when they don't get their way? Probably not. So don't be that friend. Be kind and make sure you put others before yourself. Love doesn't get irritated. Do your siblings irritate you sometimes? Like they go into your room and mess up all your stuff? It's really easy for us to get irritated and mad at them. But that's not a very good way to show them that we love them. So instead of getting irritated and mad, we should be patient with them. Love doesn't keep score. Do you like it when people remind you all the ways you messed up? Probably not. And we all make mistakes because we're all not perfect. Thankfully, love doesn't remind us about our mistakes or make us feel bad about them. Memory verse. Hatred stirs up quarrels, but love makes up for all offenses. When you love someone, you should be willing to forgive them when they mess up and hurt you. You should just be able to look past that and have a great relationship with that person. Jesus is the perfect model for how to love. Kids, if you really want to know how to love someone more, look to Jesus. He put others before himself when he came to die on the cross for our sins. He doesn't get irritated with us when we don't follow him. He is patient with us. Jesus also doesn't remind us of all the ways we messed up. In fact, he died so we don't have to worry about all those mistakes. He forgave us, and that shows us how our love should help us to forgive others and look past our mistakes. So kids, next time you're hanging out with your favorite dog that you love so much, remember this lesson. Remember what the Bible tells us about love and how Jesus shows us perfect love.